you need to learn how not to settle and ask more out of life. Don't settle. Don't settle for jobs that don't see your worth. Jobs where there's no room for you to grow. There's no opportunity. Don't settle. Don't settle for relationships that don't give you what you want. Relationships that take from you instead of give you. Don't settle for mediocrity. Demand more of yourself. Always push higher. Don't settle for people that are not good people. They're not your people. Leave them behind you. There is a whole world out there waiting for you. A world in which you have the power to create exactly what you want. Don't settle. Fam, I can agree partially with a few of her points. Unfortunately, they are too vague and there is a difference between not settling and being delusional. Let's take her points one by one. Don't settle for jobs that don't see your worth. It sounds awesome, but you have to possess a skill set of value to get a better job. Face it, if you only have a high school diploma, you can't just manifest a career. You need skills and a trade to go places. Don't settle for relationships that don't give you what you want. Okay, if you're gonna demand more of a relationship, you better actually be giving a lot more into your relationship than just your presence. And ladies, let's be honest, in most relationships, men pay into them financially the most. By that measurement alone, you are getting more out of it. Demand more of yourself. Yes, and that means you have to sacrifice something to gain something better. Don't settle for people that are not good people. Let me be honest here, fam. This is far harder for women to do as they tend to be part of a bigger female social group. Fam, do any of these women who preach the, uh, don't settle message ever stop to think that the men they don't want to settle for were the ones who were actually doing the settling? Moving on. Dusties keep trying to push this struggle love like we're going to receive a happily ever after if we stick to some broke dude we met at a bus stop. Don't let Tia Maori's story fool you. Her husband is an exception to a whole rule. Most women who sign up for this dynamic get heartbroken in the end. I wrote a whole book about it. It happened to me. I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. Listen to me, sis. Listen to me. Do not bank on these dudes potential. He gonna have you somewhere broke and pregnant in a hotel begging for food and money. That was me, girl over here banking on a dude's potential. What was I doing with a dude that didn't even have a GED? The f is wrong with, what the hell is wrong with me? I remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. <laughs> Fam, I have to laugh. But not because of what exactly this Coween said. The reason I found this video hilarious is because men and women probably understood two different things. In fact, go ahead and tell everyone what was the message women got there. Well, she clearly said, don't be with a dusty. Women need to stay away from losers and get with men who are already successful. Okay, now to my female viewers. What men understood was that woman did what so many other women always do. She went with Tyrone, Pookie, and Ray Ray, but not the corny young man who would have given her a good life. In fact, she was so mesmerized by Tyrone, she wrote a book about her experience of picking one. Fam, that's a page out of Monica Lewinsky's playbook. Write a book of your experiences of being with a player. Be him a broke chat or the president. You end up not picking the good guy. Moving on. I want to tell you guys why, despite this last video about why I think men cheat, I still want to get married and still have trust in men. Now, if you didn't watch that video, you don't have to, but the basic premise is that the reason I believe most men cheat uh, all boils down to low emotional intelligence or EQ. Now, when most men talk about why they cheat in the comment section is proof of this, they'll say something to the effect of, well, men cheat because we're hardwired to do so. Those of you that want to leave this ridiculously ignorant comment, I'm going to tell you why no one is taking you seriously. Cheating isn't about sex. Sex is about sex. There are many different forms of cheating, right? There is physically cheating, there is non-physical cheating, there is emotional cheating. And what all of these things have in common is that you have entered a monogamous relationship, made a promise to your significant other that you wouldn't do these things, and then went ahead and did them anyways. So what you're essentially saying when you say that you're hardwired to be this way is that you're either hardwired to lack the intelligence to know what monogamy means, or you're hardwired to disrespect other people. And in either scenario, you're doing yourself a massive disservice as a man. Okay, fam, there was a lot to unpack there, but I think I should start addressing when she said, cheating isn't about 
Why is this wrong? Because she is only using the female lens, which pretty much throws off a lot of what she is claiming. I clearly understand that for women, many other things have to align emotionally before she sleeps with another man. For men, it can be mostly just physical. Ladies, believe it or not, men can separate most of their emotions from the physical act far easier than women can. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just stating a fact. Also, this queen started this video on an insult belittling men when she really doesn't know much about what she is talking about. In the grand scheme of things, monogamy is a relatively new social construct. And yes, men have historically tried to spread their seed as much as possible to try to raise the probability of passing their genes on. If anyone lacks any intelligence, it would be someone claiming that marriage, a human social and or legal creation, will magically undo hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. Okay, so how do we find men that aren't dumb enough to think that it's a flex to say that they're hardwired to cheat? This may come as a shock to many of you, but um, I have never been physically cheated on in any of my relationships that I know of, and all of my relationships have been extremely long-term. So from the age of 13, I got into a three-year long relationship until I was 16. Then after that, I got into a five-year relationship until I was 21, and then I got into another eight-year long relationship until I was 29. So I'm clearly cut out for very long-term relationships, and the reason why I like them is because I think that getting to know another person wholly is one of the most beautiful things on earth. I think it takes an incredibly long time to really get to know and understand somebody just as well as they know and understand themselves. To claim to find men who aren't dumb enough for anything relationship-based is like men saying to find a woman who isn't dumb enough to look for a man with money or status for a relationship. That's basically built in. Amazing how these queens who make videos while plastering five pounds of makeup, as in making up for beauty deficiencies, think they have some divine truth on their side which entitles them to call an entire gender dumb. Don't get me wrong, as I give her credit for being in long-term relationships, assuming she is being completely honest. You black-headed gorilla! Why wouldn't she be honest? She is right in saying men just come up with weak excuses for cheating! I never said men didn't use excuses, and I don't agree with the traditional definition of cheating. What do you mean traditional? Cheating is cheating, period! Oh really? I'm sorry to burst your bubble there, but modern times have modern rules. Hey, this gorilla recognizes modern day liberated women, but do you ladies know what you created here? No! No! Please don't say it! We women want you men to stay traditional! I will say it. You created the modern day man. New rules, new practices, new definitions to the roles. You are liberated. So are men. That means an HVM will give you the lifestyle that you want, but every now and then, he may just go to be in another woman's bed. You women created this modern day relationship monster. Men just adapted to it. And to me, it is one of the greatest gifts of life that we just get to do that. And I don't think that it's that I just got lucky in having these long-term relationships. I am incredibly selective with who I will date. The top two qualities that I look for in any guy are emotional intelligence and chivalry. And if those two things aren't there, the conversation gets shut down immediately. And it's not to say that they're bad people if they don't possess those qualities, but they are not going to be the right partner for myself. There are men out there that don't think or act like this, but let me know if you want me to make a part two to explain how to find them. Chivalry is deleted, and it was women who did it. Hey, you ladies can look for chivalrous men all you want. In the market you created, those are few and far in between. I really would like for both men and women to go back into traditional roles. Back when marriages lasted a lifetime, but that's not reality. There is no putting that genie back in the bottle. Hey. You modern ladies opened up that Pandora's box. All you can do now is hope. I'm just saying, if you enjoy this audit, click on the video in the end screen for more content. If you agree or disagree with anything about this audit, please let us know in the comments. I'm going to leave this audit right here. I'll see all of you in the next episode.